You love to see it. I woke up this morning, super early this morning, thinking today's going to be a good day. Not only because I get to unbox what you clicked on just now, but the Oscar nominations were coming out super early this morning, so I figured, sure, I already have to be up at the crack of dawn. I get to see how many nominations Joker will, fingers crossed, pick up. I figured maybe like three, four at the most. Fam, Joker picked up 11. <laughs> I'm still in shock. It's like hours later and I'm still in shock. Not only is it the first time that a DC Comics film is nominated for Best Picture, the best film to come out last year, but it is now the top superhero film to have the most Oscar nominations. This is major. The Academy Awards has never <laughs> given a comic book film this much love. Like, it hasn't. But 11? 11? It's not only the most nominated superhero film, it's the most nominated movie this year. And since Joaquin Phoenix, every time he's been walking down a red carpet the last, like, month or two, has just been bringing a broom with him because he's just cleaning up, grabbing this award for Best Actor everywhere he goes. I'm just going to have to have the Academy just to hand him the award right now. Just give it to him. Stop playing. I can't wait till February 9th. It's such a good day to be a Joker fan. <laughs> Welcome back Gothamites. If you're new here, hi. <laughs> I'm London aka History of the Batman. So as you saw in the intro, what a time to be alive, <laughs> to be the clown prince of crime. Because in light of not only the release of Joker finally on Blu-ray, this Blu-ray to be exact, Oh snap! And Todd Phillips' DC Comics movie getting 11 nominations at this year's Academy Awards, including Best Director for Phillips, Best Actor for Joaquin Phoenix, and Best Picture. Oh, today was just such a perfectly scheduled time <laughs> to finally unbox what I have been waiting for like two weeks, you don't even know. <laughs> to finally be able to unbox and share with you all. And that is this over here, the exclusive Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie statue that is created exclusively by Network. Now if you're like, what's Network? I don't know what that is. Oh well, you should. They are the ultimate shopping experience of the future. <laughs> when you download their mobile app literally every week, it feels like every day, but every week. So much original content, exclusive products, and even at times celebrity hosts are on this app to just show you all the crazy awesome things that Network creates with other awesome like-minded creators out there. And anything that is on the Network app, you literally cannot get anywhere else. Network is so cool and lately they have been dropping some fire, fire, exclusive, so exclusive Batman products, especially Batman apparel. And they keep coming out with not just Batman apparel but also just comic book products. And this one, ooh wee. <laughs> the fact that there aren't really like any <laughs> Joaquin Phoenix, Joker, statues, busts, toys, any of that, it just isn't really a thing out there. This is what makes this unboxing super dope because Network has made a beautiful 10 inch statue of Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and literally it is practically rare <laughs> and I get to unbox box it for you guys today. I don't want to wait any longer. I want to jump into the unboxing, but before we do, why don't you woo, subscribe to this channel and become part of this wonderful Gothamite community. Alrighty, so this is the box. It's fragile, y'all. 
you don't want it to break or anything but i'm going to open up this box so we could just we could just go i'm still in shock about the oscars <laughs> it's crazy like okay school <laughs> all right time for another one of london's hella clumsy unboxings that's probably what i'll call the playlist that has all my unboxings which I'll put in the description. It's always a struggle, but these are always just so fun. <laughs> this is the box and it's wrapped in brown paper. I have no idea if you can see any of this. I really don't. This is it. <laughs> it's wrapped in brown paper. Let's unwrap it. Oh, and then we have more bubble wrap. I'm telling you, they really wrapped this. <laughs> now we're in good old bubble wrap mode. Nope. <laughs> I tried to pop it to look cool and that didn't work. I can at least tell you that if you do decide to pick up one of these statues for yourself, it's really packed well. Like, you're gonna receive the statue and it's just not gonna be broken. I like almost stabbed myself in the stomach. That's how this is going, if you're wondering. Layer number two is off and now we're down to this. We're down to one box and I'm pretty sure after this layer, it's here. Did I get it? Alrighty guys, we did it. After 20 years now. Oh, we're about to take it out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I can do it, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, let me take off this paper so we can just observe the box in all its glory. Literally like four layers later. Ooh, okay. Let's look at the box for a moment, shall we? So this is what the box looks like. It says Joker, it says Network, and it's like a faint gray outline of what kind of looks like Gotham City or what's supposed to be Gotham City. I really like the subtlety of the design. It's really nice. And of course on the back, because it is officially a DC Comics Warner Brothers product, we love to see it. <sighs> Just sitting here with this nice Joker memorabilia that I have now. I honestly love the movie, so I'm very, very excited to have this. Oh man! I am going to open up the box at the top to see what it looks like when you do so. When you open it, you get this card. It is a network card, and it is a certificate of authenticity because originally network made 600 of these. I think now there are about 500. So mine has it signed, and it is 121 out of 600 statues that are made. So I think that's really nice. I always love exclusivity. <laughs> I have not looked at it yet, but this is what it looks like when you take off the top Joker top to this. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Maybe you guys can see it with me. All right, one, two, three. What is it? <laughs> oh, it's just black silk. Oh, okay, that's black silk. It's already nice. <laughs> before I even see the statue. Lots of padding, like like a almost silk velvet material that houses the statue and the stairs. Very, very cool. I'm gonna be really careful because I feel like, oh no, I'm gonna break this. I am unwrapping the stairs. This is so cool. <laughs> really heavy. <laughs> But these are the stairs that Joaquin Phoenix's Joker figure will be standing on. There's even a little square right here. I don't know if you can see it where you would anchor him. Okay, I'm going to put the stairs right here so I can get the other statue and we can work it out. Ooh. Oh, man. Dude, I am so afraid. <laughs> that I'm going to drop this. Okay, I'm gonna keep going because I live really close to a school and it's the morning, so they're just having the morning announcements, <laughs> but it feels like forever, so if you hear something in the background that's not me, 
I'm so sorry. Before we get into the detail of the statue, which, oh, oh, I'm so excited for. I just want to praise the packaging. Both the stairs and the Joker statue come separately in the packaging. And it's wrapped up in this nice material, but it's just housed so nice. Like I said, if you do order one of these, which I will put the link in the description if you do want to pick up one of these for yourself, it's really nice. <laughs> The box itself is nice because obviously I want to have this up here somewhere. I have to rearrange all my things. I haven't even put it together yet. But I no, I gotta have one of these up here somehow. I'm just looking at the detail of the face before we jump in. That's so boss. Here is a close up of the statue. Can you see the detail of his face? I really love that. I love the makeup. I love the eyes. I love the hair. Eh, hair. His suit is amazing. The colors are just so outstanding. So bright, so pop. And just the pose, because of course, this, see, his feet are crossed. Look at the shoes, the detail, down to the freaking toes, man. So good. This is the back. So much movement. I always love statues with movement. Ugh. Look at that hand in that pocket right there. Lord. So I love this. I even love the fact that since his arm is raised and it's moving, the jacket is kind of billowed open. It's just, ooh, I love it all. I love it all. We are going to put our friend on the stairs. So I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> to put them on there and we will look at it as a whole together and talk about it a little bit. <laughs> so this is it. Uh, I'm so afraid because I'm just a clumsy mess so I don't want to break it. But look at this. That is outstanding. So he is standing slash dancing on the staircase. Now, even if you haven't seen the movie, you've probably seen a trailer. And this is now obviously, besides probably the ending, <laughs> the standout scene moment of the entire film is when after he does some horrible things, <laughs> he's all giddy and happy and wants to dance on the stairs. Now what I find funny about these stairs in real life is that it became a tourist attraction once the movie came out. And when I posted about it on Instagram, which is at History of the Batman, if you're like, oh, what's that? Go check it out. It's so fun. Join the family. <laughs> People were saying, oh no, don't promote the stairs because people live there and people have gotten hurt there and just all of these really horrible stories about people actually going and living around the area where the real life stairs in Brooklyn are and I think that was just really funny. <laughs> I, wow. There are a lot, like the detail in this is amazing. I love his stance. I love the color of his suit. I love the stairs themselves. They have an almost gray, almost kind of charcoal rustic feel to the actual stairs. And it's really heavy. It's nice quality. I mean, it just is like, I'm weak. So I'm already like, ooh, I'm getting a sweat. <laughs> just holding it, no, no, no. <laughs> if you didn't hear, this on these stairs, it stands 10 inches tall. And it, it's pretty huge, actually. I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be way smaller. <laughs> I don't know why. This is outstanding. And like I said, there aren't really a lot or any other official, like officially licensed Joker, action figures, statues, busts, products, any of that. There aren't. I've seen tons of amazing fan-made Funkos and faces and things like that, which I always think is really cool. But literally, this is one of the first that I've seen that is officially licensed by DC Comics and Warner Brothers that is officially from the movie. This is officially from the movie. And so it's already rare in itself. <laughs> I will put picture right here, so. Maybe if you want to zoom in on the detail and things like that. But, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at him. He's like, I am dancing my way to go pick up these Oscars. <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. What? 
I need to put this somewhere because I need to just talk to you guys about one other thing about this. Give me one second. I'm gonna put this back here just for a minute because I need to. Okay, I hope that you can see them right here. This is a statue and it is outstanding. There's so much weight and detail and quality to this statue. It's so cool. Cool. Like I said, if, if you don't think that there aren't any like major Joker statues, like Hot Toys didn't make one, like Sideshow didn't make like it's not a thing. It's just not. But Network has got you. They're like, get this. It's so nice. I switched them with my Superman, so he's at least kind of more in frame. It's bothering me anyway. I honestly love, love, love the statue. It's hand painted, it's hand sculpted. The details from the face to the suit to all of the colors in between that just is a great juxtaposition to the kind of gray, kind of almost gives you a bleak feel of the stairs even though there's so much movement and life in Arthur Fletch Joker dancing on the stairs. It just brings that now super iconic moment from this Todd Phillips film to life and ah I'm so excited I I don't know where to put it <laughs> if you love this movie and you're like I need more Joker memorabilia in my collection you gotta pick this up I don't even know a better argument you're not gonna find any statue out there like this from this movie, especially right now. <laughs> I don't know what the future will bring considering this movie is now nominated for 11 Academy Awards, so it's now already in the history book, so I'm sure more products and more things are gonna come out from this movie, but right now, y'all, this is what you need to get. <laughs> like, don't focus on other things, this is it. Network has made an incredible exclusive statue, and I wanna thank them so much for giving me the opportunity to share this unboxing with you and also, my good friends at Network gave me the amazing opportunity to give one of you Gothamites one of these. Yes, a whole ass one. Just for you. It's, I'm so excited to do that. It's the first giveaway of 2020 and it's a pretty darn good one. If you want a chance to enter to win one of these amazing Joker statues, one of these amazing Joker statues, <laughs> It is an Instagram giveaway. So like I said, it's really imperative that you just go follow Instagram right now. <laughs> when you see this post, this one right here, which I am posting today when this video goes up. So once you watch this video, go to this post, which should be one of the first ones up on the account. So it looks just like this. When you go to that post, you have to like it and comment down below on this post who your favorite Joker is of all all time. Personally, Mark Hamill will always be the greatest Joker of all time, but I know that that's voice acting or whatever, but it's still, still true. But for me, it's always been Cesar Romero, Mark Hamill, and now Joaquin Phoenix just wants to throw his cards in there, shoot his shot, and he's like, I'm gonna be in your top three, and he succeeded. But any Joker you'd like, doesn't matter. Put it in the comments on this post. In your comment, tag two of your Bat Family or your super friends, anyone who would think this is so dope. So dope. Which, you gotta have a couple friends who would love this. <laughs> and the last part of it is that you have to follow both at History of the Batman and at Network on Instagram. You can enter multiple times if you want. They're allowing it. <laughs> this is a very short giveaway. Some of my other giveaways have been a little bit longer, but this one is just this week. The winner will be announced Friday. So it is really, really important that when you see this video, hopefully you see it either the day it has come out or maybe a couple days after. You gotta enter like right now because it is starting today, Monday, January 13th, and the winner will be announced this upcoming Friday, January 17th. So literally you only got a few days, but it's super, super easy. I will put the exact link to where that post is going to be in the description if you're like, I don't want to go find it. Just click on the link and bam, it'll put you right there. I will have all the information at the top of the description so you don't have to climb through all of my other things that I have in the description if you don't want to. There are about 500 left. There were 600 made in total. It's a 10 inch resin statue. It is 
amazing detail design quality height with all of it it's so perfect and like i said if you loved this movie as much as i did and if you're like did you london did you love it i well yes i did because i literally have about six videos <laughs> just talking about this movie which sure i'll put that in the description please enter to win this amazing statue it's uh i can't express <laughs> how fantastic this exclusive network statue is. I absolutely love it. And once again, thank you to Network for not only sending me a statue to unbox, to unbox, what? That's not English. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you <laughs> to Network for letting me unbox the Joker 10 inch exclusive Walking Phoenix Joker stairs statue thank you so much and if you want one for yourself either go to the description and buy one <laughs> and go enter to win you might as well it doesn't hurt this is such a perfect day to have to unbox it on this day it just worked out so well because joker in so many ways has made cinematic history and it's just so impressive that it is a comic book movie that is making these waves within the film industry. It, you love to see it. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> go watch Joker if you haven't seen it. Go buy it on digital. Pick up the Blu-ray. Both of those are available now. You just, just go see it if you have it. And if you have seen it, go see it again because why not? <laughs> Even if the, uh, the other 10 don't win, I don't think that's going to be the case, at least well, at least a couple will, but at least give it to this man. I said it in my first review when I put it out on October 4th, just give him the Oscar already. <laughs> it's a good time to love the clown prince of crime. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing of Network's exclusive Joker movie statue. If you did enjoy this video, please give a bat, a bat, a bat thumbs up. As always, all of my social media is linked in the description below, including Instagram at History of the Batman, which you gotta follow if you want to enter for a chance to win one of these amazing Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie statues. It's stunning. I, I keep pointing just because I'm afraid to just keep holding it like this because I am a clumsy fool and it would be devastating to me <laughs> if mine broke. Check out some of my other awesome Batman history videos in the description and just check out the rest of the content on this channel. Especially if you're a new Batman fan roaming around this channel and looking at this video. And if you like what you see, you might as well just subscribe to this channel and become part of this Batman community. It would mean so much to me and you will have such a fun time here. Once again, thank you so much to Network for being the awesome guys that you are and for sending me this statue and giving me an opportunity to give it to one of you Gothamites. I honestly appreciate it. All of Network's social media, their app, all of it, all that information is in the description. Go download the app right now, go to your app store, put it on your phone, sign up so you can get awesome notifications and everything about all of their exclusives. It is not only a very fun experience, but it's the future. It really is. It is the future of shopping. Not gonna lie. And it's just so cool. All their stuff is so dope. You're not gonna find a product <laughs> with network that you're like, oh, that's kind of weak. No, it's all straight fire. So yeah, go check them out as well. <laughs> so yes, thank you, network. <laughs> and thank you guys so much for watching and being so supportive of History of the Batman and everything that I do. And we will have much more History of the Batman soon right here on YouTube. Remember Gothamites, all about peace, love, and Batman. Bye.